In this video I'm going to show you how to do a perpendicular bisector but just quickly I want to explain what the word means and hopefully therefore you'll be able to remember it better when it comes to the exam. A perpendicular just means cutting at right angles. You might have heard the word in common usage where oh, I want to play something perpendicular to the other thing. It just means at exactly the opposite direction at 90 degrees. So cutting at 90 degrees. Let me draw a diagram so that you can see what I'm talking about. Say we had a book or a shelf going like so vertically. Something would be perpendicular to it if it was going exactly in the opposite direction. So like this. Oops, let's make it a bit neater. Like that. And you notice if it's going in that direction in the exact opposite way it forms a little 90 degree angle in the corner. So this line would be perpendicular to the first line. That's what perpendicular means. Bisector, bi means two, and sector is like sections. So it cuts into two equal sections. So it's not any old perpendicular line. It's a perpendicular line that cuts between two points cuts them exactly equally in between them. So this diagram here would not be a perpendicular bisector because this section to the right was slightly bigger than the section to the left, so it's not quite a perfect bisector. Now we know where the word comes from, how would we actually draw it? For that I'm going to use some software from Emaths and I'm going to show you how to draw it. Okay, let's imagine our first point is here and our second point is here. And our question is, in the exam, or just in real life, our question would be something like this. It could be, draw a perpendicular bisector between the two points, between point A and B, or they might be more subtle. They might say something like this. Draw the locus of points equidistant from A and B. Equidistant just means equally distant from each point. In other words, the same distance from each point. But wait, I thought a bisector splits things exactly equally and perpendicular cuts between them. So again, they'd be asking you for a perpendicular bisector. They draw the locus of points equidistant from A and B would be the same in this case as drawing a perpendicular bisector between points A and B. That's fine, you're saying, but you still haven't actually showed me how to do it. So let's do it. First, what you need to do is get out your compass. That's one of the big steps that students just don't do. What you need to do first is put the sharp point in one of your two points. It doesn't matter which, but put the sharp point of your compass, you know, the bit that kind of is metal, and put that in one of the points. Then get your pencil and stretch the compass until your pencil is in the other point. So let's write this down. We have step one, sharp bit in the first point and pencil on the other point. That is step one. Let's turn that into light blue. Step two is more fun. Step two, what we do is we spin the compass round in more or less a circle. It doesn't have to be a whole circle, just more or less. Okay. Spin, whoops, step two, spin the compass, and make sure it's drawing, obviously. There's no point in spinning it when it's not drawing, which I do see quite a lot. Spin the compass in round in a circle. If you don't have space, it doesn't have to be a whole circle. It just has to be at least a semicircle. Third um, step is to do exactly the same for the other point. Repeat this for the other point. What do I mean by that? I mean, get the sharp bit and put it in the second point. OK, 
get the pencil and put it put that in the first point then spin again spin round and spin round finally you might be able to guess but what you do is you get out a ruler and you simply join up the two points the where it cuts over at the bottom and where it cuts at the top I'll just put step four join the points join where it crosses over join the crossings and that's a perpendicular bisector so we get out our pencil or our pen Oops. and you get the idea roughly Wait, let's do it in pencil you join these two points up like so and a little bit inaccurate but there's our perpendicular bisector and you notice it cuts between the two points exactly equally so it's equal on the left and equal on the right and it's perpendicular so it cuts it at 90 degrees it's also this line that we've drawn here maybe if we do it in um, a different color so you can see it this line is also equidistant from the two points in other words every single uh, step of this line anywhere you are on this line you're at an equal distance from point A and from from point B you're equidistant is how they call it that is how you draw a perpendicular bisector the steps are always the same you can just repeat the method it's really quite fun I highly advise you to have a go at trying it yourself.